In this video, we'll be taking a look at two NBA games happening on January 10, 2024, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games, so four picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports, let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released, so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these two NBA games. After fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. San Antonio Spurs vs. Detroit Pistons The San Antonio Spurs, currently holding a record of 5-30 and ranking 5th in the Southwest Division, are gearing up for a highly anticipated NBA matchup against the Detroit Pistons at the Little Caesars Arena in Motown scheduled for this Wednesday. Unfortunately, the Spurs faced a setback recently, succumbing to a 117-115 defeat at the hands of the Cleveland Cavaliers on Monday night, extending their losing streak to five consecutive games. Conversely, the Pistons, on a four-game losing streak themselves, experienced a 131-114 loss against the Denver Nuggets on Sunday and are set to play the Sacramento Kings on Tuesday before hosting the Spurs. Notably, key players such as Saidi Sissoko, Zach Collins, and Charles Bassey will be absent for San Antonio, while Detroit will be missing Cade Cunningham, Isaiah Stewart, and Monty Morris. In a disheartening display of form, the San Antonio Spurs have encountered defeat in 10 of their last 11 games. Their hopes of breaking a five-game game losing streak were dashed by the Cleveland Cavaliers in a narrow 117-115 road loss on Sunday. Victor Wembanyama led the Spurs with an impressive performance, contributing 24 points, 10 rebounds, and 5 blocks. Devin Vassell added 22 points, while Keldon Johnson and Tyus Jones each scored 18 points. Despite shooting 47% from the field and connecting on 14 of 37 attempts from beyond the arc, the Spurs were unable to withstand the Cavaliers' late-game surge, conceding a 16-2 run in the fourth quarter. This defeat dropped San Antonio's overall record to 5-30, with a road record of 3-15. On the other hand, the Detroit Pistons have been ensnared in a severe slump, losing 33 of their last 34 games and seeking a turnaround after a 131-110 thrashing by the Kings in their most recent outing. Bajan Bogdanovic led the Pistons with 26 points on 1-0 of 1-4 shooting, supported by Jadon Ivey's 22 points and 6 assists, along with 16 points each from Jalen Duran and Alec Burks. Despite a strong start that saw them amass 47 points in the first quarter, Detroit couldn't maintain their early 20-point lead and ended up trailing at halftime. Their struggles continued in the fourth quarter, where they managed only 15 points, leading to a decisive defeat. For the upcoming matchup, the Spurs will be without Zach Collins, while the Pistons are still missing key players Cade Cunningham and Isaiah Stewart. San Antonio, with a record of 5 wins in 35 games, faces a Detroit team that has won only 3 out of 36 games, and the Pistons will be playing the second game of a back-to-back. -back. Detroit is grappling with injuries, notably missing their leading scorer and assist leader, Cade Cunningham, as well as second leading rebounder Isaiah Stewart. Additionally, Monty Morris has yet to play a game this season. The Spurs boast the NBA's top rookie and Victor Wembanyama, who leads the team in scoring, rebounding, and blocked shots, posing a significant challenge for Detroit on both ends of the court, averaging 19 points and 3.3 blocks per game. Despite a disappointing season, the Spurs demonstrated competitiveness in their narrow loss to the Cavaliers on Sunday. In contrast, the Pistons, positioned as the worst team in the league, are dealing with player absences and recently squandered a 20-point lead against the Kings. With Detroit playing on the second night of a back-to-back, -back, the Spurs have an opportunity to secure a win. While laying chalk with San Antonio on the road may not be exciting, backing the Pistons seems unfavorable at this stage. In a season marked by uncertainty for both teams, there appears to be a slight advantage for the Spurs in this matchup, especially considering the short line. Therefore, the San Antonio Spurs to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. 
Looking at the offensive struggles of both San Antonio and Detroit, coupled with their poorest defenses, the stage is set for a high-scoring affair on Wednesday. The total has gone over in seven of Detroit's last eight games, showcasing the defensive challenges for both teams. Detroit ranks 27th in defensive efficiency with a rating of 117.9, and San Antonio is marginally better at 25th with a rating of 116.8. Notably, this matchup features two teams with subpar defensive records and a shared in inclination for a fast-paced style of play. San Antonio favors moving the ball in the open court and scoring in transition, exploiting a potential weakness in the Pistons' defense. Conversely, the Pistons aim to get the ball near the rim before taking shots, which aligns with the perceived vulnerability in the Spurs' defense. Considering the tempo and the favorable offensive matchups, the final game score is expected to surpass the projected total. Therefore, over the projected total is our full game total pick. Washington Wizards vs. Indiana Pacers The upcoming Wednesday night clash between the Washington Wizards and the Indiana Pacers holds significant importance for the Wizards as they strive to break free from their three-game road losing streak. The battleground for this encounter will be none other than Gainbridge Fieldhouse. The Wizards find themselves in a challenging position following a 136-128 defeat to the Oklahoma City Thunder, where they entered as 11-point underdogs. Attempting to overturn their fortunes, they face the Pacers, who are riding high after a narrow 133-131 victory over the Boston Celtics as three-point underdogs. Notably, the teams have an even split in their last 10 encounters. In recent times, the Washington Wizards have encountered a notable downturn, losing eight of their last nine games. The team hopes to reverse a five-game slide, with their most recent setback being a 136-128 loss to the Thunder. Despite the defeat, notable performances came from Jordan Poole, who led with 24 points and five assists. Kyle Kuzma contributing 22 points and 15 rebounds, and Tyus Jones scoring 18 points with 9 assists. The team collectively shot at 49% from the field and 15 of 32 from the three-point line. However, they struggled to contain the Thunder's dynamic duo of Chet Holmgren and Shai Gilgis Alexander, who combined for 63 points on an impressive 20 of 27 shooting. Contrastingly, the Indiana Pacers have been in stellar form, winning seven of their last eight games. Their recent triumph was a hard-fought one. 133 to 131 win against the Boston Celtics. The bench player, Benedict Mathurin, played a crucial role, leading the team with 26 points, while Aaron Nesmith added 17 points and Miles Turner contributed 16 points and 8 rebounds. Despite a slow start, the Pacers managed a 44 point explosion in the third quarter, securing a thrilling win with Mathurin making the game winning free throws with a mere 0.1 seconds left on the clock. Although the inclination may not naturally favor the Washington Wizards, given their recent victory over the Pacers less than a month ago as eight-point underdogs. Certain factors work in their favor. The Pacers' defensive struggles and the absence of their key player, Tyrese Halliburton, due to a hamstring injury, create uncertainties. Halliburton serves as both the leading scorer and a lead assist provider for the Pacers. The question arises, can the Pacers' offense maintain its efficiency without Halliburton's contribution? In this context, opting for the Wizards with the points on the road seems prudent, making the Washington Wizards to cover the spread as underdogs are full game side pick. Analyzing the offensive dynamics, the Wizards boast an average of 115 and a half points per game and 115 points per game on the road. In their last three matchups against the Pacers, they averaged an impressive 128 points per game, operating at a rapid pace of 106.4 possessions per game. They face a Pacers team conceding 121 points per game at home, suggesting a likelihood of exceeding their average in this game. On the flip side, the Pacers average 126 and a half points per game and 128 points per game at home, maintaining a high-scoring trend against the Wizards, with both teams favoring a fast-paced style, averaging 107 possessions per game. Their recent meetings saw two out of three games going over the total. Heading into this Eastern Conference matchup, both the Pacers and Wizards Wizards find themselves in the top two positions in terms of pace of play, emphasizing their preference for an up-tempo game. Notably, Jordan Poole and Kyle Kuzma showcased their offensive prowess in the recent loss to the Thunder, scoring 24 and 22 points, respectively. The Wizards' fast-paced style aligns with their averaging of 106.4 possessions per game, setting the stage for a high-octane encounter against the Pacers, who average 107 possessions per game. Given the offensive firepower and the historical trend of their match, Matchups. The likelihood of the total going over in this game remains strong, making over the projected total our full game total pick.
That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.